This post is made by Reddit user BillyGoat2017. Bullies are not just in middle school. They are everywhere. This question was posted by Reddit user Mark underscore PS2. What are some dark secrets about regular life that people should know? User Little Octagon made this comment. Just like a Reddit comment that blows up, so much success for so many people often has little to do with talent or experience and more to do with timing and luck. User Tiny Tania 84 shared her thought F a fucked up reality. The celebrities that you crave to emulate, get a lot of the stuff for free. They are just breathing billboards. Stop putting yourself into debt for them, at the end of the day, just like money, you can't take it with you. Reddit user just underscore reader one shared his opinion about trust issue. If you were isolated from love with the people you lived, you will have hard time trusting anyone when you grow up. Reddit user Flickr23 shared his opinion on movies and on the other hand, Reddit user Ogreman shared his perception about negative notions about hope. The bad guy regularly wins. Movies are a lie. Hope is a profitable commodity. Reddit user Dipshit shares an important ideas about life. The world doesn't owe you anything. Sometimes you can do everything right but still not make it. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. Reddit user I like water world shared an irksome fact that is common in the workplace. Even though you are by far the most qualified candidate for a job or a promotion, they can give it to someone undeserving and there's nothing you can do about it. Nepotism, I gave the job to my son, friendships, inability to recognize talent. You at some point may likely face this and it sucks. Reddit user Pranoil5 shared the truth in growing up. You are never done growing, or shouldn't be anyway. When I was younger I thought growing up was a thing that happened, then you are a fully complete adult. Nope. You never stop figuring it out, learning, and growing. Reddit user Yawn So Big shared the truths about pedophilia. Most sexual offenders know their victims, especially child sex offenders. Very rarely are strangers grabbing children off the street, it's usually a family friend, an uncle, aunt, etc. This statement is provided by Reddit user J. Stevenson08. Your job does not care about you, at all. Some of the people you work with might, but if you die they will replace you in a heartbeat, and after a couple of months you won't come up in conversation. Take care of yourself, your family, and your friends over the company you work for. This statement is provided by Reddit user Coconut Bird. You can be going along, enjoying your life thinking you'll be got it all figured out, and boom, in a matter of minutes it can all go to hell, and everything you believe to be true, and the future you imagine for yourself will be gone. And just because you do everything right, does not necessarily mean you get what you want. Turing Tested made a statement about friendship. Friendships are fragile. Most have a convenience factor, go to school together, work together, live near each other, 
and once that's gone the friendship becomes much less important. As you age, work, family, and spouses demand more of your time and there's less left for friends. It does not mean you care less but without effort, you will lose those friendships. Often one half of the friendship is more willing to put the work in than the other, and that can sustain the relationship or lead to bitterness. Reddit users JFSOCC and Lord of Self Shame shared their sentiments of things that do not fall on your way. JFSOCC. You don't get what you deserve. Lord of Self Shame. Someone once said to me, you get what you get, and what you get will never be what you deserve. It was after I had just done some good then got shit on for it, but I realized years later he was talking about malicious attitudes never getting their comeuppance. Reddit user Fox Sweater shared the advice of his grandfather with regards to friendship. My pops always says you're very lucky if you can get through life with one or two good friends. If you don't have family around, all you have are your friends. Who else is going to be there for you when you need to go to the hospital? Or get picked up from the airport? Or help you move, or get over a breakup, or celebrate your marriage? A lot of people just want playmates, people who are up for a good time and want to rock the boat. It's when you read down in the dirt, you realize playmates aren't going to get into the dirt and help you up out of it, but your friends will. Reddit user Naked on my gold shared a sad truth about saving others. There are some people you just can't save, and who will drag you down with them if you let them. Whether it's addiction, excessive anger, constant negativity, or just never-ending chaos. If they are an adult, you have no obligation to fix it for them, and you can't anyway until they become ready to fix it for themselves. Reddit user Giraffe Boo shared creepy and at the same time sad truths about sudden deaths. You can do everything right and still die on your way to work. My husband died two years ago on his drive to work because someone made an illegal turn. People die every day in auto accidents. You can die when you leave your house and it's so easy that it's scary sometimes. Reddit user Watch the Boom shared a comment about the negative things with regards to non-profit organization. I ran a non-profit for a while and thought that the non-profit community would be pretty great, because aren't we all trying to do good things? Oh if. The non-profit world is home to some of the most ruthless and cold-hearted bastards I've ever come across. Particularly when it comes to competing for funding, there are no friends among non-profits and charities. Reddit user Maitrazi shared a sad reality about having Alzheimer's disease. When you get diagnosed with Alzheimer's, your brain is already mostly mush. The disease has been ravaging your brain for at least 20 years before you started noticing it. You also probably exhibited symptoms for the past 5-10 years but they were super mild and no one, including you, paid attention. One of those early symptoms can be mood swings, depression dot 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 and the loss of the sense of smell. There is no hope left for you at that point. The main research against Alzheimer's or any neurodegenerative disease is to act years before the first symptoms when your brain still is relatively healthy. You showing symptoms mean that your brain cannot compensate for the degeneration and it will go downward from now.
Reddit user Beach Pussy Bodice expressed her experience about adulting. Nobody said being an adult would be this lonely. I'm a 26-year-old female, relatively attractive, sociable and I take pride in how kind I am. But it doesn't matter. People are busy and making the friendship connection is so much harder as an adult than it was growing up. And it was fucking hard growing up lol. I have about three friends total I can go to for anything. On the upside, my familial relations have improved greatly as an adult. We were broken growing up but now we're all in a good place in life and with each other. Reddit users random hands and the only Diego one share the advice with regards to choosing your companions. The best piece of advice given to me was from my secondary school head teacher, it was apparent I was starting to mix with the wrong sort of people. Rub up against the dirty lamppost, you're going to get dirty stuck with me. There is also the saying you are the sum of the people you hang out with. And you sleep with the dogs, you get the fleas. Reddit user Snoo33903 providing a remark on learning to stand on your own. People change. You never really know them. They can be in your life for 20, 30, 40 years and out of nowhere blindside you. So learn to be happy on your own. Live in love of course, but do not allow anyone or any few people to define your happiness. It's alright to give people the power to hurt you by loving and trusting them, but never give so much of yourself away, that their very presence in your life defines you and you cannot live without them. That leads to you either accepting shitty behavior to keep them around or at least to crippling depression if they leave. Own your own happiness. Reddit user FL Boy Colin shared sad truths about ruining others' life. That you can be the bad gay in other people's lives. You can try and rationalize your actions to try and make yourself feel better, but sometimes the sad reality is that you make poor decisions that hurt others. I don't believe it necessarily makes you a bad person in general, but you do have to accept when you've messed up and realize that you're the bad guy. Reddit user Strawberry Sun One shared an annoying aspect of life. Money and connections talk more than anything in life. It blows my mind the shit people get away with for having money or knowing a friend of a friend sadly. I neither want shit tons of money, seriously though can't we all just have enough to live comfortably, who the hell needs millions of money? Or want to suck up to people and be fake or owe people favors and such. I'm failing in life. Reddit user Watercolor of Sebastian shared interesting facts on our way of life. You will most likely be average. You won't win the lottery, you will not become famous, there is nothing special about you. And there is nothing wrong with it. Billions of people are just average and lead average lives, it keeps the world turning and that can be fulfilling on its own. Most children dream of being discovered or doing something great but less than 1% of those children really become anything. I've decided to lean into it and become the most average person out there and just try to be as comfortable I can be until the end. User Manic Monroe shared an insight about finishing college. College is a scam to trick you into a false sense of superiority. The real fact is that you can have a college degree and not have any common sense, or you could just finish high school and be a genius. Knowledge holds no hierarchy, the only true obstacle is the excuse that you need someone to tell you to read books and think critically when you are fully capable of those things all on your own. Also, people will judge you if you slow dance with your bearded dragon.
Reddit user Pocket Xena shared an idea to be cautious with your friends. Your friends except for that one gem which is, to be honest, rare, are never actually your friends. I do not know if I'm right, but from the experience I have and see the people around me have, I can say that most of the friends you have are pretended ones. Of course, they'll celebrate with you, spend time with you, share secrets with you, almost do all the things friends do. But deep down, they have a corner which is jealous of you, it may be tiny, very tiny, but they have it. They can't see you getting anything bigger than them. More money, more grades, better university, job anything. And if you think you don't have any friends like that, it's time you start looking.